favorite part of the tour is like three support bands. We like to make a strong package, and um, we've played with Crowbar before, and we knew that that would be cool. <laughs> Face Down had a new record coming out, and Roadrunner was going to promote the stuff, so we said, cool. The band started out in about 93, I guess, a band called Machine God. And uh, then we got this promo CD from United States the band called Machine Head, so we had to change our name uh, quite rapidly. When we changed the name was actually, you know, when the band started, you know, rolling, in a sense. We made up these 800 tapes that we just gave to friends, you know, and stuff. And we didn't hear, even send it out to record companies, you know. One of them showed up, you know, at uh, some from records, you know, through a friend. And uh, the manager there got to hear it and he wanted to sign it straight away. You are an answer, what do you want to hear? This is our uh, fucking crowbar from New Orleans, man. Y'all enjoy yourselves. The guys are real cool. They're super nice. We didn't we didn't know them well before, although we had met them. But uh, they were getting along great with them, having a good time, and it's it's working out good. It's a good package. <laughs> loud, heavy, and intense. Some of the new stuff we played, they instantly just went down really good. Whereas like we would play the same song like Greed Killing in the States and uh, you know people would bop along a little to it you know but it's not really an aggressive type of song but um, last night the crowd went ape shit you know it's pretty cool. Fast stuff, that kind of beat got really old to me. And we just got into the slower, sort of more catchier kind of rhythms. It's more rhythm orientated, I suppose. <laughs> Most of the music we listen to at home or in a club or whatever is the stuff that gets people moving, you know, whether it's aggressively or whatever. Um, we like to take them drum beats and just work our own stuff on top of it, you know. <laughs> Sorry, 
diatribes basically, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, means a loud, vociferous protest. It's like, you know, aggressive words, you know. And uh, basically there's no gr one great theme to the record, so it's a collection of, like, aggressive poetry, if you want to call it, you know. So, I mean, diatribes kind of fits it really well, I think. The, the way we recorded the album this time was really laid back. Our friend's studio in Birmingham, you know, it wasn't as if uh, we were even doing an album. We'd sort of turn up when we felt like it. And like, right, it's time to go to the pub now, I've had enough, I'm off, you know. Which I, I thought was really good. Because last time we were all sort of cooked up in this studio, five of us. When you're, you know, when you're at home doing nothing, you're like, I want to get out on the road. Then after two months on the road, you're like, I'm sick of this, I want to be home. You think? Yep. <laughs>